Good to see you, man. Good to see you too. So we had a, we had a, um, Eric and I, we had a, uh, we're supposed to shoot that day. Yeah, yes, sir. 100 degrees. Mm -hmm. Very right? hot. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that was sweat bad. Uh, we were at Trayvon's house. Yeah. We got Trayvon, but then you have to leave. Yeah. So I was supposed to get him. Yeah. Last year. Mm -hmm. Was it August or July? It was, it was after, like, it was after our age, yeah, so probably August. Okay. Uh, August. Okay. How you been? I'm doing pretty good, you know, just, just trying to get better every day, you know. I'm, little, I'm in a different aspect of my life right now, you know, from last August, you know, so you know, my life has definitely took a change, you know, I'm definitely, you know, just trying to take everything on the right path, you know, stay tuned with you know, the stress, you know, just, just stay in the gym and stay humble. Okay. Um, you are set now for 2018. Yes, sir. Not 2017. Yes, sir. I, you know, I decided, you know, I feel like, you know, I got a better opportunity in class in 2018, you know, to establish myself. You okay. Know, I might not feel like I'm more happy. Is more relevant in 2018 and 17. You know, by 2017 guys you know, kind of already established their name and stuff. You know, but, you know, I'm looking forward to you know going to 2018. You know, you know, so. What would change your mind to be 2017? Um, opportunity. You know, if I feel like you know I see an opportunity where you know, I can come in right away, make an impact. You know, I just feel like it's the right right fit, right time. You know, time is right. You know, you know that definitely be decision. For the 2017 schools. That kind of offer you yeah. are also in the 2018 for you yeah, as you well, know, right? Yes, sir. You know, um, every school is every school that reaches out. You know, saying you know they're taking the 17 or 18 don't really matter. You know, whenever I'm comfortable. You know, some schools they kind of pursue 2017 more because you know they need a guard for 2017. But you know, if I'm willing to stay 2018, other schools are still in contact. So. All right, let the world know some of the top schools that are some of the schools that are on top of your list yeah. or putting you in a priority? Yeah, um, Oregon, um, Syracuse, Miami, Arizona, um, Maryland, UConn. Maryland, UConn. Um, Villanova, Villanova, South Carolina, cool a lot. Uh, I don't know if I said Miami, South Carolina. You said Miami, South, South Carolina. Carolina. Um, you know, I just, UNLV was my 25th offer about three days ago. Okay. So, you know, it's just becoming a lot right now. I'm able to leave too many people out the list. And, you know, like, say it all. Um, I can't really think of everybody right now. But there's a lot of them. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a wide range of schools right now. But, okay, out of those, out of out of many, mm -hmm. only one, who are, yeah. the, who are on the top of the pyramid? Um, like, they're calling you the most. Like, you're a priority. Yeah, I wouldn't say, you know, like, certain schools stand out the most to me. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, like, Syracuse, they stay in contact a lot. You know, I'm talking to them. Oregon, I talk to them very often. Oregon, um, almost everybody stays at a nice, steady pace. You know, nobody dips in and out. You know, some schools go in. You know, somebody can commit. You know, you might you know, go fade away, but you know, everybody stays at a nice, steady pace. In terms of okay, cool. How do you like PSA? I love it. You know, I feel like it changed my life. You know, I, I don't think I would be in the position I am today if I didn't you know, take that step in my life. You know, because you know, that was definitely a challenge for me. You know, going into that atmosphere I was coming from. Delaware and Sanford, you know, where basketball is not really looked upon. Yeah. You know, so going into a situation like that where I'm playing with other high major guards, you know, people who are just like me, got dreams just like me, you know, so it was definitely a challenge, you know, adversity. And I didn't like it at first, you know, but my mom, I was always calling my mom, you know, if I'm ready to go home, I want to go home, you know, I'm not liking it. But, you know, she made me stick it out. You know, she was like, this is called adversity, you know, either go through it now or later in life, you know, I'd rather you go through it now, you know, so you can feel it. So I'm, I definitely thank my mom a lot for making me go through that. And it definitely worked out for the best. Good, good, good. Um, do we have other things to cover? This outside of recruiting? Oh, oh. hey, uh, what part of your game do you need to work on? Um, or they do the coaches, some of these college coaches tell you, hey, you need to work on this, this, this. Well, this is actually our first live period. So, you know, I'm pretty sure I'll be getting Texas, you know, saying, you know, so you do this more, you do this more, and you should work on this more. You know, so I'll be waiting on those calls in Texas so I get in the gym and go work on them. But, you know, I feel personally, you know, my condition and my stamina, you know, being able to be more a defensive threat, you know, I feel like I want to be more assertive on the defensive end. And um, just keep being more of a leader. You know, I think with my skills, me staying in the gym, my skills to keep developing, you know, I'm not really worried about that. You know, 
this level, everybody can put the ball in the basket, everybody can score, everybody you know, can do all those type of things. I'm just trying to work on and other things, you know, that get me ready for college, like being a leader, you know, being being that teammate that everybody loves to play with, you know, just, you know, every, anything that, anything I can get an advantage on my opponent. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, now let's talk about J. Cole. J. Cole. Your alter ego. Yeah, J. Cole. Well, actually, I kind of got like an alter ego, you know, like, like I go by on my Twitter handles and Instagram as EA Glove, uh -huh. you know, so like me and my, one of our video uh, photographers, um, Jada, you know, he, they kind of made this thing last year, you know, you got to turn the glow switch on, go from Eric to EA Glove. Okay. You know, so, you know, that's kind of like my alter ego, but, you know, people confuse me as, oh, you look like J. Cole, you look like J. Cole, or uh, are you J. Cole, J. Cole, J. Cole, people call me J. Cole, so, you know, I guess I could say that with alter ego. Would you, do you think you get more here? you were walking around versus yeah because there's so many people you know New York is so widespread it's every you know everybody's walking around you know I'm pretty sure I would get that a lot and if you do right obviously someone's gonna test you mm -hmm. and they're gonna be like all right spit some of his uh tracks never listen to a J. Cole oh song. man never listen to a J. Cole oh song. my god yeah I don't, I, I'm not really a big fan of them you know I like I like Meek Mills that's kind of my favorite. That's like right Philly. Now. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's where I'm from. You know, I can relate to you know what he's been through as far as you know, like coming from the bottom to the top. You know, he's, he, he's not as high as. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I don't really go who hot. I like what okay. I like. You know, okay. You know? Okay. Like my friends, you know, they all like Drake. You know, I can't really like Drake because you know they had that little that little altercation them too. You know, so, so you don't like Drake because of that. Because thing. of Meek Mill don't like him. Wow, so you, you know, are really a Meek Mill fan. Yes, sir. Wow. Yes, sir. Wow. That's my dog. Right. What about Future? Yeah, I listen to Future. Future, cool. He neutral. Everybody like me. Oh, Future, Future Switzerland. Yeah, yeah. He I didn't just know that. he's just neutral. Like everybody likes Future, you know. He just out there. Radio music, you know, he got a lot of radio stuff like that. Okay, okay. Yeah, I like Future. Oh I got I, one more question. What do you think of um what do you think of this year's NBA draft? Um it's entertaining. You know, I see a lot of stuff. My favorite player in this draft right now is Darren Fox. I like his game so much, you know, I just, you know, he's so fast and so assertive, you know, like that. Um, Markel Fultz, you know, being though he played UA, you know, I kind of got a relationship. Yeah. You know, nothing big, nothing big, you know, I just, it's just when we see each other, what's up, like, you know, so I like him a lot. And definitely, especially, like, his story, you know, where he came from, you know, not making the varsity yeah. team as a sophomore, then, you know, just staying in the gym and just keep working, and I can relate to that. Like, right. At one point in time, I wasn't, you know, really, you know, people making me out of the scene now. I didn't always that kid that, you know, or schools or stuff like that. And I, mean, I feel like I'm still, I still got more to do. You know, I'm full complacent. I'm not complacent. You know, I feel like I got a lot more to accomplish with my game, you know, in terms of my goals. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm always working. What's up? What's up? <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, so. What, what do you, what, all right. Uh, who you have first traffic? Um, I think, Markel has the advantage because no, no, of, no, 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 no reasons. Nah, because Lonzo Ball's Lonzo Ball's father. You know, I think I think a lot of GMs and stuff don't really want to deal with that. Okay. So you know, especially in that first pick, you know, I think Markel. That's the only reason I think Markel got the advantage. All right, all right, all right. So you have Markel number one. Lonzo number two. And what do you do? You can. What's your opinion as a young high school player uh, going to college soon? What's your opinion on that? Lonzo Ball. Yeah. I, I have nothing against it. I I actually like it. I enjoy it. Like yeah, it? yeah, yeah. I do. I do. I'll tell yeah. you later on why. But um obviously off the video. But yeah. uh, I have no problem. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I wanna know what's your perception. Um I mean like, you know, I think his dad missed something in high school yeah. like, during his career that he's trying to live through his son. Okay. You know, I think he didn't have that, you know, life where he was the star. You know, he always played the background. So I think now that his son is coming into a certain fame or has a certain light on him, you know, I think he's just trying to live his dream through his son. I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with that. You know, Lonzo, he's a great player and all that. But, you know, like, you don't want them type of distractions on the court. I know, like, when he gets on the court, I know players are going at him because of what his dad is saying. You know, like, I know yeah. people say little things like, yeah, I'm going to get at you, you know, your dad, all oh, this, that, while they're on the court. And this, he puts a lot of pressure on his son. You know, you going out, your dad saying, you this, you that. And, like, Stephen, I was watching the first tape one morning, and Stephen A. Smith was, and Lonzo Ball was on there. And 
it came down to it. It was like, you cutting checks, your son can't cash. And then Stephen A. Smith was like, you know, he got a, a, a check, he got a cash in the Kentucky game. And then after the game, LeVar and Lonzo came back on the show. And it was letting LeVar have it from that, from that for, you know, so I mean, like I'm, I never had a, you know, in my, in my opinion, you know, I'm, it really doesn't matter to me, you know, I'm working on myself, but, you know, I mean, if, if, that's what, if, that's what, if that's what works for them, then so be it. You know, if you think that's what's best for them. Hey, Eric, uh, where can people follow you? Um, on Twitter, EA underscore Glow or Eric Ayala. Instagram, EA underscore Glow, Eric Ayala. Same thing. That's it, right? Yes, sir. All right, future Jayco uh, biopic, you know, cast. <laughs>